Hi, it's July 5th, 2020, and today I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelf because it needs it desperately. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is showing you the bookshelf and then I'm going to take all the books off. I'm going to clean the bookshelf um, because it is kind of like an unfinished wood, so it collects dust very easily. And then I'm going to be going through the books and unhauling the ones that I no longer feel like I need to have them in my life. Um, and I will tell you, I unhaul quite a bit. Um, there won't be that many to get rid of, I'm assuming, because I get rid of things constantly, like a KonMari addict. But um, I'll do that and then I'll put all the books back on the shelf after I've cleaned them and everything uh, in a way that is hopefully pretty and organized. I have faith in myself. I think we're going to do this. I think we can make it happen today in one day, even though this kind of thing usually takes me a very long time. So this is the bookshelf and I do only have one because I just feel like at this point in my life, I don't really need to have more than one, especially because I get rid of things so often. And this is actually really nice. This is made by my roommate. Um, the only thing is that it's a little bit unfinished, like, or not unfinished, but like maybe like the sanding or whatever. It's not glazed. So it does catch dust very easily. So I need to dust it. <laughs> But this is what we're working with right now. I think the first couple shelves are pretty good. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um, there's just a couple. I do not. I never do this. But it's just gotten so crammed that there's a lot of books that are just shoved in there. And a lot of random memorabilia. Um, my roommate and I's dead boyfriend. We found that on the um, floor outside of a car wash one time. That was... Pretty cool. Uh, you know, just random stuff. Things. Things I don't really need anymore. So this is the before. And then I will do a little time lapse taking all my books off. Let's get one last look at this guy. So all of the books are off the bookshelf now, and it is dusty in here, y'all. It is dusty! Oh my god! I'm like, I should I dust every single one? Yeah. Am I gonna do that? Absolutely not. I'll probably dust a couple of them, like the hardbacks, especially the ones I've had for a long time, like Harry Potter and, and such, but that's just too much time. I'm not doing that. So I'm going to go through and decide which one of these I need to part with that I can live without. I don't really need them anymore. Um, decide, you know, if I'm going to maybe pass them on to a friend or take them to the free library, donate them, what I'm going to do with that. And then also a, a couple of these, like a couple of the books and then quite a few of the individual comics, like not the volumes, but the individual issues of the comics are my roommates. And I can't come marry that because they're not mine. Um, so we'll have to have like a special, um, spot on the shelf for those things. Um, but those are kind of untouchable. I might put a couple of those books in her room because she has her own bookshelf in her room and maybe those things could, we'll have to see. But anyway, for right now, I'm going to go through these and then after I'm done, I'll tell you about what I unhauled and maybe a little description on why I did that. go into explaining a little bit about um, the things that I am going to unhaul and a little bit of reasoning on that. 
Uh, so the first couple things are things that I've read recently that um, I maybe like I really enjoyed, but I don't need them. And the first one is going to be The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. I really liked it. Um, I wasn't obsessed with it the way I was with like Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, which I am keeping. Um, this one, um, it was good, but I don't need it in my life. And then another one like that, The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. It was fun, never gonna read it again. Turtles All the Way Down. Uh, I know this is so many people's like favorite book, but I read this and I don't remember it. Like I really, I barely remember anything about this book. And I think that just kind of speaks for itself. So no, no. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of The Power of the Actor, The Chubbuck Technique. This is a fantastic book. Like if you're an actor, fantastic. It's so good. Um, I read it cover to cover, which is pretty amazing since it's like over 300 pages and it's like a educational book. Um, I've read it more than once. It's so good, but I just don't know if this is what I'm doing with my life right now. And I feel like it kind of makes me like feel bad that I'm not doing that with my life. So I'm getting rid of the archived because I actually have the bind up edition um, that has the unbound archived and the novella in the back. And even though I do not want to read a book this big, especially with tiny writing, um, but I couldn't find the unbound in paperback anywhere. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to donate this and then I will just have the bind up edition. Uh, the Martian by Andy Ware. Uh, I didn't it just, it didn't strike me. Like, I feel bad. This is such a good book. Like, it really is. It's just not for me. Uh, Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. I've read it. I had a huge emotional response to it. And that response is never going to happen again. I'm never going to be able to recreate that. Final Girls by Riley Sager. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I hated every single character in it. They were all annoying. <sighs> didn't like it. This sucked. But uh, his book... Um, lock every door. Amazing. Never gonna read this. I'm never gonna read it. If I was ever to read something like this, it would have to be audiobook. Like, this is absurd. <laughs> These magazines. Well, I have this one because I'm in it, but I don't, you can barely tell that I'm in it. I was like a featured extra, but you can barely see me. I'm like, this is not cool to show anybody. And then, um, History's Greatest Conspiracy Theories. Like, this is really cool. Like, I feel like it's like, I've, I've never really like read all of it, but it's cool, but you know what? It's been in my life a long time. It just needs to go. I'm going to get rid of This Is How You Lose the Time War. And this one was hard because the letters between blue and red, oh, they're so good. But this book made me so angry because I did not understand what was happening. I felt like it was purposely confusing and it just led, I don't know. It's like I want to keep it because of the letters, but... I don't, I don't know. I don't think I need to keep this. Okay. This one is really hard. This is really hard. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to change my mind, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to pass on Vengeful by V.E. Schwab because this book made me so, it just, it disappointed me so much. It really did. And I love Vicious. Like I love Vicious and I don't have it with me right now because my friend is borrowing it, but I don't know, like I've highlighted in this book, I've written in it. I don't know if I should keep it just because I'll get the third one, but I really did not like this. I don't know. I might put this to the side and like see, but I was, but I don't think anybody's shook that this is not a good book. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of, um, so I'm getting rid of a lot of comic books, like almost every single one I have because I just, I haven't read them in a while. I went through like years and years of my life where I, I love comic books. Like I really loved them. I read so many of them, but in my opinion, they are expensive. Like they are very expensive. And um, I don't know. I just, I don't really read them very much anymore. I really loved them for a while, but I just don't see myself rereading a lot of these. And I think that they just need to go to somebody else and they are in perfect condition. Somebody will love them but I'm getting rid of the new 52 Catwoman and then a series that I really loved. Oh my God. Um, the new 52 Batwoman. I loved these. The, the artwork in here is like just phenomenal. It's so, so beautiful, but 
not gonna reread them. Why The Last Man? I I thought that I don't remember where I bought this from. Amazon? I don't know. Um, I thought I would read it and I just never picked it up. So I don't think I'm gonna start. East of Eden, it was good, but I never bought any other ones and I feel like there's probably like 70 volumes now, so. These, I don't know. I think the, I'm gonna put these to the side as well because I'm not sure because even though I'm telling myself, I'm telling myself I'm not gonna reread these. I just love these so much and it's The Wicked and the Divine and I only have the first three volumes. I have Commercial Suicide, Fandemonium, and The Faust Act, which now that I'm thinking about it, those are not in order. Um, but I love these. I really, really love them and I just keep telling myself, I'm like, you're not gonna buy more. You're not gonna reread these and buy more, but maybe I will. Like, oh, they're so good. They're so good. I don't know. These I might have to keep. I might have to keep these. You know, you know what? I don't know. And another series along the same vein that I am going to be letting go of is Saga. And this is such a good series. Like it is really, really good. Like so good. Um, and I really loved this. But uh, again, there are a lot of volumes of this now. And I just don't really see myself keeping up with it. I think that I loved it a lot and that it's time to just pass it on. I have volume one, two, three, four, and five. The Walking Dead. This is so good. It's so, so good. And I have um, Compendium One and I have Compendium Two. And I've read this cover to cover. Like, I love this series. I love the Americana. Like, the artwork is all black and white. It is amazing like this is such such a good series that's beyond my abilities at the moment i don't know what that was about um but i can't see myself these are bricks oh my god they're heavier than bricks they're like a bag of bricks i cannot see myself rereading these it's just that would be that's just a lot to deal with and then i also have um all of the volumes god i really love this series like i really kept up to date with this stuff like i love 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 this series so good um but i just think that it's it's over now i don't think that uh, i'm gonna like continue with this i know there's a lot more out now but i just i just don't i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna break so many people's hearts but Rick Riordan's um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. It's not that there's anything wrong with the series, nothing. It's just, it's very middle grade and I am not middle grade. And when I bought these and read them, I was also not middle grade. I read these a couple years ago and it was just, uh, it wasn't nostalgic for me because I didn't read them when they came out. I wish I had, I would have loved them so much more. Um, I liked them, I thought they were cute, but I don't care. And I feel bad for that because I really wish that this meant more to me. Um, I read all four of these and I did not read The Last Olympian. And I keep telling myself I should, but I'm like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's beyond, um, it's, I am beyond that reading style, I think. So yeah, these are all the ones that I am going to be letting go of. And then um, I will put everything else back on my bookshelf and we will see how that goes. Hi, it is the next day because I forgot to film the outro. So I'll just show you the uh, end of this bookshelf so we can get a little closure. Okay, she is looking fresh and clean and cute, y'all. Look at her. First, we're gonna have my series of unfortunate events. We got a little tie in here with decor. 
um, little Hunger Games, my Harry Potter collection, um, some wands. My roommate and I made these at a party, and then these are um, just like, this was my roommate and this one's me, and it's just based on our birthdays. I have some paperback um, or sorry, hardback books here, and then I have my Game of Thrones collection, and then down here we have paperback, uh, series, my dead boyfriend, and then these are paperback standalones, and then, um, these are going to be more like self-help books and just childhood memory books, and then I just have a couple drama trophies or whatever and then this is going to be all the um playbills that i've seen oh my god i love them these are so good i wish there was a way where i could like kind of display them a little bit better but right now this is what we got going on and then these in the back like i was in a production of our town so i have that in there and then a couple of these that are like smaller that um I've been in and then these are my roommates cookbooks these are books that we've made about our friendship uh, um these are my roommates standalone comics and then we have all of my roommates um volumes of comics and then this black here and all the way across are mine and you guessed it I did keep the wicked of the divine I just couldn't part with it and then heartstopper I mean obviously I wish I had the other ones but whatever and then these are um my art and poetry and such from throughout my life oh and then we got our little zz plant <laughs> so that is what she's looking like all right thank you so much for watching uh hopefully i'll be able to do another one of these in like six months or a year and then see how it's changed um uh, because i do have quite a few books coming in the mail today um <laughs> But anyway, let me know if there's anything that you think um, I should be doing, anything I should be reading, anything like that. Um, I would love to hear it. And thank you so much. Bye.